students representing almost every facet of our university. We certainly have a large contingent of undergraduates from the College of Arts and Sciences and also from the School of Engineering, but we also have graduate students from programs in optics, from the PhD program in math. We have people from the medical center involved. We also have alumni involved. I'm Lynn Selke. Uh, I play the euphonium uh, in the brass choir. I first entered the U of R in 1957. And we even sometimes get students from the Eastman School who come and play with us as well as uh, do all the wonderful things that they do at Eastman. Uh, I talked with uh, several uh, alumni that I know down in the Washington area and they just couldn't believe that we would be down there playing at such a prestigious location. And I even went to, so far as to send an invitation to Barack Obama and to Louise Slaughter, but I don't haven't heard back from them if they're going to come or not. I play the trumpet and I'm looking forward to the trip. I haven't been to DC in a while. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the Basilica. You know, I think it should be really cool. We're going to be visiting, first of all, John Philip Sousa Hall, which is the headquarters of the United States Marine Band, not for a performance, but for a workshop and sort of interactive rehearsal of sorts. And then on Saturday, we'll be visiting the National Basilica on the campus of Catholic University. And as brass players, we're very excited about that because it enables us to do repertoire that is sort of designed for a huge space like that. And then um, on Sunday, we'll be visiting two venues. We'll be going to the National Presbyterian Church, and then we'll be playing at the Kennedy Center on Sunday night. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage, under the direction of Joseph Hansen, University of Rochester Brass Choir. This is the University of Rochester. 